More Americans are resorting to buy now, pay later services to compensate for the high levels of inflation. But some Americans are struggling with the pay later mm. part of the equation. A report released Thursday by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau shows Americans took out over $24 billion in loans using the service in 2021, up from only $2 billion in 2019. So for more on this, let's bring in Ken Sweet. He's a banking reporter for the Associated Press. Ken, welcome. So great to have you with us. So I feel like these schemes, I want to call them, are everywhere. <laughs> Every time you want to check out from something that you're buying online, you're, giving, you're being given this offer of Buy now, pay later. They're ubiquitous. Yeah. They're in, on Amazon. Apple has gotten into the plan. They're even on little small mom and pop shops. They are everywhere. And how right are now. they different from the traditional loan? Well, these are, they, they kind of fall into two different categories. You have the traditional pay and for model, which is almost the old 1980s telemarketing scheme of buy a rotisserie grill and four easy payments of $29.95. And then you have the longer term loans, which a firm and PayPal have gotten into, which are six, nine, 12 months, and they kind of have to be separated because the, the, the bigger, the, the longer term loans usually come with interest, while the pay and for model come with no interest, and that's very attractive to the average consumer. So Ken, are there any regulations in place for these companies that use this service? Uh, the, the, the regulations have not kept up with financial technology, to be mm -hmm. quite frank. So the longer term loans kind of fall under the traditional uh, laws like the Truth of Lending Act and the Fair Credit Reporting Act, but these Smaller term loans, simply there's no regulation or even like credit reporting infrastructure for them. That's the big issue for regulators and consumer advocates because you could go and take out a loan from a firm and then take out a pay in for loan from PayPal and then uh, Klarna and, right. and you could just keep going about and no one would know that you did that. Um, except you and your very, very large bills now. That's right. And suddenly you have all of these bills, like you point out. So tell us more about the dangers for consumers in taking on this sort of debt for everyday purchases that you wouldn't even consider taking on debt for previously. So these started off like like most, most traditional loans, which is like you buy a large item and you pay for it over 6, 12 months. But this industry in its popularity has moved quickly down the price spectrum. Mm -hmm. You can put a pair of jeans on buy now, pay later. You can put flowers on buy now, pay later. And one thing that I think uh, consumer advocates and financial uh, uh, advocates would say is that there's this increasing number of Americans who are putting groceries mm -hmm. on oh, wow. buy now, yeah. pay later. And those items, the routine purchases on buy now, pay later speaks more to uh, an, an, an unhealthy financial habit that could put you in some serious trouble. So is it no, I think it's interesting, though, don't you, Tanya, that this all we saw this huge increase during 2021 when Americans were very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. They weren't going places. COVID was raging. Is there a connection there? There is. I mean, like buy now, pay later grew out of the boom in e-commerce that happened after the pandemic. Also, I think there's a younger cohort of Americans who like the idea of not having credit card debt. Mm -hmm, right. And and this is what consumer advocates would say is that if used correctly, this is one of the better financial tools because you have a beginning date and you have an end date. It pays it off. You don't revolve it on your credit card for months or forever. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact is, is they gr they've grown so fast. And a lot of these people who were uh, young and may not have had debt before are now like realizing that they have, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars, three hundred dollars worth of buy now, pay later payments yeah. that just came out of Im almost impulse purchases. A great Gosh, way to start. Really, yeah, not, not the way you want to start your financial life as a young person. No, no, no. All right, Ten Sweet, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. We are going to take a very quick break, but more news is next. Stay with us. You're streaming CBS.